Hey everyone, this is Chanyo66, and this is the quick tip of the week. Voltage. To go along with my amperage last week, uh, if you missed it, check it out. Basically, voltage is what you can think of as the power behind the electricity. Um, so, easiest way to represent it would be water. And if you think about it, if you have your water pressure coming into your house, that would be like your voltage. That's how much is getting forced in, or how much is trying to get forced in. So, the more voltage you have would be like having more water pressure. So, what you run into is what a lot of people mention as voltage sag. And that's where you actually, when you're drawing more amperage than what your equipment can handle, or your battery can put out, or whatever the source can't keep up with, the voltage is trying to keep up, but it ends up sagging. And that would be the same thing as, perfect analogy, someone taking a shower and they flush the toilet. You know, when you get that cold or hot, whichever you get, that is the same as voltage sag. That's where everything is overloaded and your system is having to compensate somewhere. So basically you have your certain amount of amperage going in and your certain amount of voltage going in. And when the amperage goes up, your voltage starts sagging a little bit because it is trying to keep up. It can only flow a certain amount, and the amperage is pulling more than it really needs. So, that's where voltage sag comes into play. Um, the only time you really notice that drastically is if you get into low C-rated batteries, uh, which I'll cover C-rated in a uh, C-rating in a second quick tip of the week this week, um, just so we can knock them out all at the same time. So. What will happen is, if your battery can't put out enough power, it will start sagging. When the voltage starts sagging, your amperage goes up, because you're trying to create the same amount of wattage. And I'll explain wattage as well, uh, just hang on on those. So, one has to counter the other. And so if one goes down, the other has to go up. If you have, just like in a model plane, your amperage goes down, your voltage will go back up. So you may be flying around, notice your on-screen display says you're at 10.5 volt on a three cell system. And you'll be like, oh, gotta come land. So you come in, land, plug in your battery checker, and it says, no, you're at 11.2. You're like, oh, I can fly a little bit more. Sorry, but you can't. That's voltage sag that actually tricked your meter into showing more than what you actually have in the pack. So if you come back and land, and your battery pack says 9.9, .9, you're already below, because your plane was pulling more than that. So, voltage is the amount of potential that it has, how much it's trying to force in. That's why higher voltage, you, lose, you use less amperage, because it has more force to actually get that electricity, that power, into whatever you're trying to run. So that's why higher, higher cell counts are getting more popular is because you have a lot more power behind it. And it can get a little more efficient. Uh, it's not really. It's basically your wattage is what the efficiency rating is. So voltage and amperage, it's an exact trade-off, one for one. If you have an aircraft that pulls 10 amp at 12 volt, if you drop it to 10 volt, it's going to pull 12 amp. That's just how it is, and they both coincide with each other. So, I can continue on. I'll do a cover video that actually explains all of it together in a final collection. Uh, once I get some uh, better equipment and everything, I'll be able to show what's going on. But for now, that is Voltage. Chanyo, out.